Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, we're back here. In the time cave and enjoying a little Peter Stokeby bullseye flake. It's it's a solid it's a solid win. I, I really like this stuff. I've been enjoying this on and off for the last eh, five years maybe. And it's becoming harder to order online because a lot of people just buy it up when it comes back on stock. Can't say I blame them. It's nice to have. Luckily, I know a source that's not far from here that stocks it, so I can I can buy it. It's not as inexpensive as it is online, but still, I can get it. That's okay. A couple ounces will last me a while. Yeah. So, what's new? What's going on? Well, I'll tell you. If you notice, I'm not as jovial and happy-go-lucky as I usually am. Stumbled upon a couple of roadblocks in my lantern collecting hobby. You might be wondering why I'm not burning that CT ham that I recently got that I unboxed. Well, I thought I'd give this wonderful first-generation monarch a little attention. Yeah. Don't get a burn. Well, I don't burn it often. I burn a lot of other things, but yeah, it's a nice lantern. Highly unappreciated, I think. At least in my collection, it is. I know there's a lot of love for the Monarch, but I don't know. I like my square tube stuff, so I burn that mostly, but it is a very nice lantern. Original condition. I've done practically nothing to this frame, save you know, dusting it off and putting some fuel in it. Yeah, it was not rusty at all when I got it. And it came from Maine, or Vermont, or somewhere northeast where rust is a common, out, uh, a common thing. Anyways, enjoying that, enjoying this, and looking for the silver lining. And I'll tell you why. Well, the ham that I unboxed on Monday, I love that lantern, it's a beautiful piece. However, it was burning. I, I will admit, I didn't share my first light with you guys because, well, I wanted to make sure it would burn well. Um, I was curious myself. So, I uh, fueled it. Naturally, no leaks. The thing is solid as a rock. It's it's perfect condition. Put a new wick in it because the one that came with it was on its last legs. Yeah. So I lit it and it was burning dirty. And it fooled me because it looked like it was burning fine, but then as it warmed up, then it revealed that it was starving for air. So I took it to work, blew out the air tubes. I got, there was stuff that was in there a lot of dust, some debris, stuff like that. Uh, still continue to burn dirty. Well, I, I'm i not going to go into too much gory detail, but I inserted a thing I've used to clean air tubes periodically. And it got stuck inside. It got stuck in the air tube. Luckily, it was protruding out, so I, I wasn't able to remove it. It got stuck in there, so I... Saturday, I just sent it to the Kirkmans, sent it to Madison, and he's going to try and dislodge it and pull it out and get it dealt with. Uh, so for those members and subscribers and friends of mine from Facebook that know what I did, please be gracious and not go into detail in the comment section. Uh, I will come forth when the ham returns. The prodigal ham. <laughs> See, I'm trying to be positive. Anyways, nothing major is wrong with it. It will be back together. And it will be a wonderful piece for the collection. And I will enjoy it immensely, no matter what. As long as it gets back together, I'm going to be very satisfied with that lantern. So, no big loss. Nothing major has happened to it. It still will be a wonderful thing. So, don't worry. 
I'm trying not to. It'll be fine. Anyway, something came on Saturday that I ordered that I purchased off of eBay back the 31st of January. Here we are approaching late February. But it came and it's a Dietz crystal. I have an SGNL crystal. I have always wanted to have a Dietz version, especially the early one with the single wire guard. I think that's a really handsome looking lantern. I like him. I like my side lift. I like my Victor. This earlier pattern is definitely a favorite of mine. Indeed. Well, I got the parts. It was missing this, so I got that and a new burner cone because the one it came with was this thing. Okay. Ain't that ugly? <laughs> Probably would burn really bad, anyways. Uh, looks like I spent some time on the freeway. <laughs> Well, come to find out, some other parts look like they played on the freeway. This afternoon, I came out here to, you know, maybe start cleaning up this lantern and, you know, start stripping off some of the, the black paint and the gold paint and all that. Well, I thought I'd unclip these brackets and pull the lantern apart, and, well, the fount, to my chagrin, is broken in many places. It's not even intact. It's The bottom part is intact, but anything beyond here, where you can see, was shattered. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's still holding the burner in just fine, because someone glued that to the inside of the fount deck, which I will have to remove with probably force. Ordinarily, I'd be destroyed. I'd be really upset. And I'd be firing off messages to the seller and chewing them out and asking for a full refund and all that sort of thing, right? Well, I'm trying to take take some uh, take a different approach. Now, there are there are collectors and members that have spare founts for these. However, the circumference in the inside circumference for this is a very very snug machined fit so not every fount will fit it uh i've spoken with woody kirkman and he suggested and told me from his own experience of course that the size of this fount deck has changed over the course of the manufacturing of this lantern mm -hmm. That the 1890s version might be a little different from the early 1900s to the 1910s, 1915 versions. Mm -hmm. And they made it for a while, from I think the early 90s all the way through 1914, 1915, give or take. I think, uh, well, Woody has indicated that he's seen versions from as late as the 1940s. So even though Dietz dropped it from their catalog and their production, they still would make it if they were requested to. I know for sure that he said that the SGNL version, uh, this is a little different than the, on the SGNL than the Dietz. So uh, Dietz fount might not fit an SGNL. So it's not all interchangeable, although they look identical. So that being said, uh, I hit up the Kirkmans. And I know that they make a replacement glass fount for the crystal. So he said, suggested that I get some calipers and measure the exact inside diameter of this lantern, of this. So we'll know if his repro uh, re reproduction replacement will fit it. And some have suggested finding an original Dietz marked crystal fount, which would definitely increase the value of this greatly. Now, luckily the frame is actually very solid. It is. So I'm not going to return it. I'm not going to get my money back. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to restore it. I'm going to make it mine. And, uh, well, it's not going to be ideal. Here's, here's the silver lining. This is what I'm thinking. If I get a replacement fount, and if that fits correctly, or well enough, Well, 
I will probably be more inclined to use it outdoors, maybe camping, in more settings than I would have had it the original uh, glass found. Because I know that I'd be able to replace it should it break or crack. And that's, that's actually kind of appealing to me, and I'll tell you why, because that one up there, my SGNL, I don't burn often. I either it goes between the garage and to the house. I never take it anywhere really to burn and enjoy outside of the property. Because if that glass fount broke, well, I'd be up uh, a creek without a paddle. So that being said, this will probably be a more functioning, utilitarian type of project, which will be great because I do like this style moreover than the cross wire guards. I like the single wire guard a lot. So that being said, I think it's going to be great. It'll be fine. Um, I'm going to have it measured so I'll know for sure what the inside circumference is and uh, go from there. Uh, so that'll take some time, but in the meantime, I will clean out the inside and get it prepped. I will clean off all the, the paint, strip it down, and get it to where I want it to be. And then I'll have the information at hand and send away for a new fount, maybe the replacement that the Kirkmans offer, which will be fine because it will still say, I think it says WTK um, or it says WT Kirkman Crystal on it, I believe. I have to look and check, double check, but if not, if, it, if that won't fit, then maybe finding another fount for a crystal that will be a genuine Dietz uh, will be the next step. I'll be looking for one and I know those will will not be inexpensive. I know whoever has a spare on hand, they can ask whatever they want because they don't exist. They're hard to find. Indeed. So with that being said, she's not going to be doing any burning anytime real soon, but I think it's a worthy project and I'm up to it and I am very, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I will admit it. I am excited to getting this thing to where I want it to be. And um, it's gonna be fun. And I think it'll be great, no matter what, as, a, as long as I can make it work, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. That being said, how's everyone else doing? <laughs> yeah. Roadblocks, they happen. They happen with fun hobbies. And, you know, you might be asking me, you know, like, well, I'd, I'd go after the seller and say, you're dishonest in representing this lantern and all this stuff. Now, however, I typically would side with that. But the gentleman who sold it to me indicated he was selling it for a friend. And the seller is a lantern collector, and he explained that he only buys very nice examples, perfect examples, if he can, of lanterns. So uh, the person that he was selling it for probably not on the up and up and did not disclose the damage to the glass fount. If you want to see pictures of the glass fount in its current state, go to uh, Facebook, go to the Lantern, uh, Tubular Lantern Group and um, you'll see pictures. I posted them. So there you go. That's that. But anyways, for now, eh, whatever. I, I, I got time. I got time, it will get fixed. It will be a wonderful project. And if if I can get a Dietz original, that'd be nice. If not, if I go with the WT Kirkman, which I am planning to do, at least for the time being, um, then I'll be able to use it and use it more often and enjoy it without having to worry about breaking it because I know I could replace it. So there you go, silver linings positive outlooks. It's not always easy, but it's important to to keep that in mind. So, yeah. I may hit up the seller and see if I could get a, at least a partial refund, which would be helpful. But if I'm not going to hold my breath, they probably won't reply to my messages. I already left them positive feedback. 
So this this cell, this thing is pretty much an open shut case. Mm. But I might send some photos and say, hey, were you aware of this? And if so, maybe we can get some money back or whatever and just tell your friend that he kind of, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, things will get fixed. And uh, I have a, plenty of lanterns to enjoy till then. And this will actually give me the time to focus on this guy. The hand pin lift, which I have done very little with. So I can actually turn my attention to that and see about getting that pretty up and fixed up and and enjoy that. So I have plenty of things to work on. Don't worry about me. I'm going to be fine. Well, friends, we're at uh, 1550 and I think I'm going to close it out. And you got a special little bonus of a Sunday content. And we'll see you guys again very soon. All right. Bye-bye.